Hey YouTube, Robert here from Hitch to Horsepower, and today we're going to install the S&B intake in, on my 09 Silverado 3500 and uh, Duramax with the LMM. And we might get to the cab lights. We'll see how long, see how long the filter takes. It shouldn't be that long, and you know, I'm not doing a step-by-step -step instructions for you. If you guys want me to do step-by-step -step instructions, let me know down in the comments. But I think kind of broad strokes is more what this channel is about. Uh, so let's get started. So here we have the stock intake. It sort of grabs air. If you're not familiar with the these, it grabs air over here and then pulls it into the box and then you know, here's the mass airflow sensor and then on up into here. Uh, it is a, yeah, it's a relatively efficient setup. I was going back and forth when I bought the S&B whether I wanted the banks with the, the scoop that grabs air from underneath the bumper but I decided that wasn't worth another $300 over the S&B and the last couple things I got from banks I was not super pleased with anyway. So uh, the instructions say on this to make sure that I go to the dealer and get a new one of these little stickers. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens there. I'll keep this around and I'm gonna keep everything in case I ever wanna go back. Um, but over here, we got the kit. It actually gave me a little warning saying that some of these kits shipped with the wrong pipe, but I checked it out. So we got the box, here's where it attaches to the side for the for the air inlet. It actually even has a little plexiglass cover so that the air box is sealed, but you can see in to make sure your filter is clean. So that's the problem with these filters is people people tend to forget to clean them. Got the intake, you know, you can cap it off if you if you wanted to. You know, seals and all that. It says it's about a 45 minute install time. That sounds about right to me. So uh, first things first, I'm actually going, I'm gonna pull the mass airflow sensor and go ahead and clean it. And that way I can let it dry for a little while. And, but uh, I have no clue when the last time this was cleaned. I'm assuming never, I'm assuming it's original. You know, it doesn't have any miles on it, but it's still 12 plus years old. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off and get my mass airflow sensor cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and give this mass airflow sensor a spray, but it is actually pretty darn clean. Uh, I don't know, uh, it says Hitachi on it. Anyone know in the comments whether that was the OEM part or if it has been replaced, uh, let me know. Uh, it it looks awfully clean. Granted, this is a extremely low mileage truck, you know, 50, I think I'm at 53, 54,000 miles on it now. But, uh, that's a clean mass airflow sensor. All we do on the mass airflow sensor cleaner is just have it on a shop towel and just give it a couple little sprays. You know, sorry y'all. Ooh, try not to spray my face. And then we just let it dry. I don't know on this style, I don't really want to go with the wires in there. I think you can, but uh, I haven't cleaned this style mass airflow sensor again. Let me know in the comments. You know, most of them just have that little, that one wire. My old, I think my LBZ had the one wire one. I know my RX-8 does um, and several other cars. But anyway, that's that. Now let's dig into this. I assume you don't really care to watch me do this in real time. So I will go ahead and time lapse this for you. And hopefully it's not too boring. Here we go. Well, that's interesting. Pulled the filter out, saw, yeah, 
I don't even see it. Uh, a bee and a bug. But this little catch here to drop stuff out. All sorts of insects and... Oh, you on the camera? It's like a whole nest or something in there. Yeah, um, I'm assuming that is just to let stuff out and not actually impeding my performance, but uh, yeah, I don't like that too much. Let's get the new one on in. All right, I've got the fender grommet on the box. I've got the pipe grommet on. I've got the bolts mounted at the bottom. I am having a minor issue. Let me bring you on over here. This space here, it, this just doesn't seem to want to fit. And I know I'm doing it kind of weird right now because I'm doing it one-handed, but I've been playing with it for about 15 minutes. In the picture, that coolant bottle is a different looking coolant bottle. So I'm gonna play with it a few minutes more. Uh, it looks like if I just undo the three bolts holding the coolant bottle in place, I may be able to just slide it out of the way a little bit. I've already moved uh, the AC line a little bit to get just a little tiny bit of clearance, but uh, it's, it's not just sliding in. And then I think I will go ahead and plug the bottom of the intake of the box and just use the fender air. If I do some performance upgrades in the in the bottom in the middle, late, excuse me. If I do some performance upgrades later, I may take it out, but that's no big deal. I did clean up the space a little bit, just wiped it down. It still absolutely amazes me how there's just no rust on this thing. It's it's just crazy. Anyway, uh, I also, sometime I want to pull that EGR apart and clean it. I'd like to do a delete, but that would be illegal. And I'm, you know, can't do that, of course. So I think I'll take it apart and clean it. Let me know if you think it's worth it. But, uh, so I'm going to play with this for a few minutes, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, it's been like an hour and a half since I last heard the cam had the camera on. And uh, made a couple little discoveries. Had to have a buddy come down and give me a hand. Uh, so yeah, 45 minutes, that's what it says on the installation, yeah, no. I did a cabin air filter the other day on my RX-8, hope check out that video, cabin air filter and new tail lights. Uh, but it said 12 minute installation, I did it in three while holding the camera in my right hand and doing everything left handed. But on this, I'll show you what the problem was. First off, the box is very big. So big, in fact, that, oh, let me pop this back on. So big, in fact, that I had to unbolt and move the coolant reservoir. I had to completely set it over here. Hopefully my hoses are still in okay condition. I think they're fine uh, to get this in. And then once I got it in place, it just wasn't bolting into place ended up got this one back here in this one actually had to remove the washer it was it just wouldn't grab you know, both me and my buddy were here we were putting a lot of force on it with nothing nothing would happen we had to take the washer out to get it to attach and then that one we got in and we got the little i am running the cap uh, if I do some more modifications in the future or depending on, you know, winter temps, uh, I'll see. I might go ahead and remove this. It says for warm weather temps, definitely keep it closed. And it will also keep it cleaner getting the air just from, just from the side, the fender instead of in here. This is going to grab more engine air. But uh, that's where we were at. Uh, I've got, I've got the, uh, Mass airflow sensor back in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just run that little monitor, you know, filter monitor thing. I think they're probably junk and I could put a cap on it, but you know what, I'm just gonna stick it on. It's not hurting anything. So uh, I'll be back to you in a minute. Hopefully a minute, it's not an hour like last time. All right, filters in, tighten down, 
pipes in tighten tighten this was a little hard to get sorry this right here was a little hard to get on it didn't it, the inside edge kept pointing to catch but they're tightened down uh here's the mass oh, let's get that so it's not sticking all funny um huh that's weird mass airflow sensor it seems to want to go on upside down but there we go perfect uh, I did don't drop that I did go ahead and put the filter minder back together uh, you know figured what the heck so last step is put this little grommet in the edge here stay how about that? That will stay there. So, go ahead and lie this in place. Tuck it down. And we put the little plexiglass cover on top. And then we fire it up, see how it sounds, and and not find any air leaks. That'll be that'll be awesome. There shouldn't be. I, yeah, a couple spots were a little more difficult than they should have been. Uh, coolant tank. But other than that, I think it was pretty straightforward. So I'm going to finish doing this, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm not going to deny you this. So now we go ahead, and I probably should have found an edge first, but whatever. We're going to peel the protective cover off the plexi and reveal... The pretty cover. I do like this idea that it's so it's not an exposed filter, but you can still s easily see how dirty it is by just taking a look through the glass. Uh, there's part of it, and then I know riveting content. And it's just amazing to watch me. Try to peel up an edge of paper. I may have to get some goof off and clean this. Because we want it to look pretty, right? Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think is it worth time to make things under an edge bay look pretty? Or do you just say, meh, it's good enough and call it a day? Let me know in the comments. For me, I think I'm going to go grab the goof off and get some of this glue off of here but i'll show it to you first and see because it's the underside peeled really well this side not so much but yeah you can see it's got little bits here and there so i think we will uh Go get that and get this, get that done, peel that, and now it will say, so you got to be real fine, careful, oh wow, you see that tiny little one there, that's going to be a pain, oh, nope, not as much as I thought, and it says S and B, let me go get the cleaner and then we'll put it on. Well, I don't know if you can see, but I am slightly disappointed. There's a pretty good size scratch marks in there, and you know, I'm not. You know, I'm using towel, glass towels, and uh, I know it's plexi, but not that I care that much. It's going under an engine bay of a truck that I use for work, so it doesn't matter that much, but. You know, this thing was, this kit was $350, and you think they could uh, do a little better than that, but anyway, let's see, we go ahead and set it down, um, nope, not that way, let's try it this way, let's wipe my fingerprints off, definitely not that way, not that way either, where does it go, nope. It's gotta be that way. It's gotta be the way I put it the first time. Yep. 
Yeah, I guess that's close enough. And we have, uh, we got these screws with these little rubber uh, washers on them. So, go ahead and screw that in. I'm gonna shoot it down with the gun carefully and then I'll just finish it by hand. But, I'm gonna go grab a screwdriver, but first, take a look at that. How's that look? It looks reflective-y to you. Okay, not bad. It's, it's overall, it's a, it's a nice little setup. We'll see if I add any miles per gallon. That's kind of the big deal, but we're just about done. Let me tighten it down and we'll fire it up and see how it sounds. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and let's see how it sounds. You can see it first hand. turn and let's see how she sounds and all right no real difference in sound which I'm fine with I uh, don't really care that much uh, you know I'll do the exhaust at some point the only thing I'm really hoping to get out of it is a little better miles per gallon it, I do think it feels a little quicker. Uh, again, it's hard to say since that was the first pull. You know, I have to drive it a little bit. But uh, anyway, uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell. And uh, I'm gonna, reminds me right now because it's just misting and these wipers are absolutely terrible. I got K&N uh, now makes wiper blades. I got a set of them and I have a, Bo a set of Bosch icons. And obviously either will be far superior to these old ones that are on here. In fact, if you lift the right one up, it will fall off. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss those on and we'll see if we can tell the difference. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Uh, we'll do the wiper blades and the cab lights next time. Thanks, bye.